So hey guys, thank you so much for tuning in again. We are still on the subject of how to get healed. I'm Cindy Mesas from CTM Ministry and Senior Pastor of Saturday Evening Church. Whenever you are in the neighborhood, you're so, so welcome to come. So we love to see you. We love to have you. And uh, uh, we're going to start where we finished last time. You can have what you say. We're still in Mark 11, 22, 23. So now we're in verse 23. And um, we are at the same part. I, I just love that. I get so excited when I think about that uh, portion of saying. Because everything started with words. But first off, if you do not know what we're saying, why I'm saying this, why I'm saying that, just go and check out the other videos and then check this one out. I'm going to uh, um, just recap the Bible first. Read it. You can read along if you have your Bible or your Bible app or wherever you can read it from. And otherwise, just listen. Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the Word of God. So, Jesus answered and said to them, the disciples, because they, Peter asked him a question about how the fig tree dried and withered up, how Jesus did that. So Jesus answered him and said, have faith in God, have that God kind of faith. And um, for assuredly, so Jesus cannot lie. So when he says, uh, for sure, just just take my word upon it. You can really take his word upon it. He never lies. We can lie as people, but God can never lie. Let God be true and every man a liar. And uh, he said, For surely I say to you, whoever says to this mountain, whoever is you, is me, is male, female, young, old, it doesn't matter. Whoever says to this mountain, whoever speaks, uses words and direct those words to the specific problem area. That mountain is a problem area. Well, you can use this Bible first. You can use what, what I'm saying. I'm also speaking faith because I use the word. What I'm saying, you can use that in every and any area of your life. But we are talking about how to get healed. So our problem area that I will address is sickness, disease. That's the mountain, specific mountain we're talking to. And everyone who is listening, whenever you're sick, you know what your specific area is. Whatever the name. Is it Crohn's disease? Is it cancer? Is it deaf ears? Is it a child that is sick? A child that has fever? Maybe you've got fever, inflammation. What, whatever the name is, you can speak to the specific mountain. You can speak to your body. Do you know we can speak to all kinds of things? Jesus spoke to a fig tree. So you might think that I'm silly or just being silly, just being fanatic. Oh yeah, we cannot say this, we cannot say that, we can speak to things. Everything responds to words. Well, before I'm getting into that about words, let's just move on. Um, you can say to this mountain, be removed and be cast into the sea. So you can tell the specific problem, your mountain, your problem area, what to do, where to go in Jesus' name. And does not doubt in his heart. And this is also a great part. Don't doubt in your heart. No need to doubt. Reduce the doubt. I stop the doubt, the fear, the worry talk. I was not on my app, I was not on my phone, just talking and talking and talking. I wasn't watching movies and movies and movies. No, I did not do that because I knew I had to renew my mind to the Word of God. And mind you, I'm still doing that. So it's not a one-time thing. And then when I got healed, I stopped. No, I keep on doing that. It's an ongoing thing. I just, I love it because I see the changes in my life. You remember caterpillar, butterfly. Well, <laughs> I feel like I'm flying right now. So I first was the caterpillar on the ground, did not know how to do it, how to get there, what I wanted also to fly. I saw all those butterflies flying. And as soon as I started cocooning, like the, like the caterpillar does, and it becomes that jello, that jelly uh, within the cocoon, 
I started to do the same. I started cocooning. If I uh, have to use a word, I started cocooning in the word. I became like jelly and everything from the word. I just absorbed it. I just immersed myself in the word of God. I took scriptures like 1 Peter 2, 24, who himself bore our sins in his own body in the tree, that I, Cindy, having died to sins, might live for righteousness, by whose stripes I were healed. And I were healed. <laughs> of Psalms 107, uh, from 19, 20, and 21. He delivered me from distress, so no stress here. And he sent his word and healed me. He healed me, Cindy, and delivered me from destruction. Because what doubt is doing whenever you hear words of doubt, because faith comes by hearing, doubt comes by hearing, fear comes by hearing, worry comes by hearing, and you just sum it all up. It comes by hearing. And hearing what? Hearing the words of doubt, hearing the words of fear, hearing the words of death, hearing the words of sickness and disease over and over again. And that's what's going to build up on the inside of you. So start cocooning, <laughs> become that jelly, that, that mass of nothingness and just absorb everything from the word. Well, he, the Bible says that the, the enemy, that's the devil, he comes only to steal, kill and destroy. Guess what doubt is coming to do in your life? Just one thing. Steal from you the word from God, kill you, and then destroy everything that you are and that you have. So do not doubt. Fear does the same, and so does sickness, disease, worry. That's what it comes to do. So hear me out. People have a cold. When I, t I, when I ask them, well, can I send an agreement with you? Can I pray with you for it? Oh, no, it's just a cold. I'll get over it. Just a, a little bit of rest. Or they went, already went to the doctor. They got some antibiotics and things like that. So the cold is normal. That's a sickness we have. A people, not I, I didn't have accepted, that, that they have accepted. You know, certain things people accept. Oh, Cindy, just don't be so fanatic. Oh, uh, ADHD, oh, my son is getting um, like a supplement or a medication for it. It's covered. Let me tell you something. That um, uh, sickness, sickness cells, because there are cells, that, that flu cells, they come into your body to already steal, kill, and destroy so that something else can come in. Why would you think it's normal? Start with the flu. Start talking to your headache. Start talking to the cough. Say, cough, stop it in Jesus' name. And don't doubt in your heart. You see, get to the root of the things. You know, a lot of people, they deal with the, the, the leaves that are above ground and never go to the root to see what the root cause is. Well, the root cause is, what are you listening to? Words of doubt, fear, unbelief, sickness, worry. Well, change it. Start cocooning with the word of God. So don't doubt in your heart. It will steal, kill, and destroy every single thing. And then he says, but believes that those things he or she says will be done. So they will be done. The moment you speak it, they will be done. Ooh, that's so great. I just love it. And he or she will have, he or she will have whatever he says. So what, it doesn't say um, he or she will have only one healing manifestation. Or he or she will have uh, just a little bit of healing and health. He or she will have nothing. No, he says he or she will have whatever he or she is saying, is speaking, is talking. So look at the words that you're speaking. What are you saying with your mouth? Are you cursing your own body? 
Are you talking about how it is your sickness, your cancer, your headache, your uh, ADHD, your OCD, and what A, B, C, D, E, F, G to Z you got? Whatever the name is, don't own it. It's not yours. It tries to tell you that it is yours. It's not. But you can have whatever you say. Yes, you can. It's like a child in a... Uh, when you bring a child into uh, not a candy store, but uh, <laughs> I have to find the words <laughs> a gift store. Let me say gift store, but uh, yeah, a gift store with all kinds of goodies for children. A toy store. That's the word. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm searching for words. I'm Dutch. Trying to <laughs> not just trying, but I really uh, sometimes searching for for the right words to say in English. Well. When you, when you bring a, a, a child to a toy store and you tell the child, you can have whatever you want from the store. I can tell you, you're going to be there all day. Maybe all week you have to go back because the child is saying, um, I forgot something. I still not have the brown car. I still not have the, the, the red dress for my Barbie. Or uh, I still not have the, the, the Lego. Uh, no. All kinds of toys they will take they will shop the whole store because you told them you can have everything anything that's in the store whatever you want you can have well it's the same Jesus tells us here he or she shall have whatever he says well it's great but on the other hand it will also work negatively. So what are you speaking? What are you saying with your mouth? What do you want to have?